Australia head to Glasgow with 59 athletes on their swim team alone. Competition in the pool starts the day after the opening ceremony on the 24th of July, where the Aussie swimmers will be looking to improve on their Delhi Hall of 54 medals, 22 gold. Delhi 2010 was my first Commonwealth game. It was a really good experience. I really enjoyed it. You know, I came away with five gold medals and got to carry the flag for Australia at the closing ceremony. So that was a pretty amazing experience for me. My first one was Delhi in 2010. I ended up getting eight medals, so I was pretty happy with that. I'm pretty sure it was three gold, two silver, three bronze. With 85% of its 23 million inhabitants living on the coast and with one in four homes having its own pool, it's perhaps not surprising that Australia is a nation obsessed by water. I got into swimming because when I was 18 months old, I used to climb my next door neighbour's pool fence, walk around to their back door, knock and ask if I could go swimming. So my mum then thought that she'd take me to learn to swim lessons because she was scared that I was going to drown. My mum did learn to swim teaching, so she taught me and my three brothers how to swim. And then when she was at the pool teaching, we were there doing lessons. I guess for me it was more for the fun and, and hanging out with friends and that's why I kind of kept coming to the pool was to chat to my friends and things like that and then you know I really loved competing so I kept going for that and then you know you start winning medals and you're like oh I'm going to keep going and I'm going to get better and better and you do and you just keep going and then I just haven't stopped yet. Over the last six decades this love for the water has seen Australia emerge as a swimming superpower the success of which has inspired generation after generation to take to the pool. There's just some atmosphere around swimming and everyone watches it and everyone wants to do it and everyone wants to be a part of this team and you know to get on this team it's pretty exciting and there's just so much fun that we have here. We obviously really enjoy our swimming and um, it's, it's a pretty important sport in Australia especially in Commonwealth and Olympic Games so looking back on past successive athletes like uh, Ian Thorpe, Grant Hackett, um, Dawn Fraser, Murray Rose, you know, all those from the past that have done amazing things in swimming. It's probably one of our biggest medal tally events in sport in those competitions. And swimming has provided Australia with some of its greatest sporting heroes. Ever since I was little, I always wanted to be like Susie O'Neill. She always just seemed like such a nice person and she came across really well on the TV and she was always um, a fighter, a, really, a real competitor. Um, she's just an amazing butterfly and inspiration and role model. Ian Thorpe. I thought he was insane and incredible and I've met him a few times so it's pretty exciting. For a nation that expects swimming success, the 2012 Olympics was a self-proclaimed disaster, exposing an individualistic and toxic culture. Since then, various changes in key management personnel are aiming to restore Australia as the benchmark of swimming worldwide. Australian swimming as a whole, like the team, is definitely more of a collective uh, group than individual athletes working individually. Um, we've definitely come a long way. Uh, everyone gets along really well and I think we've got some really good up and coming young guys coming up too. So. Uh, it's, it's pretty good for the future, I think. Um, it's just nice to see the whole atmosphere has changed. We've had a lot of younger swimmers on the team and, you know, we're just building up into that age where we're all, all on top of our game and, and that's where we want to be and we cheer each other on as much as we can. In fact, 15 rookies will make up over 25% of the New Look team, a team set to get its first big test on the international stage in Glasgow this summer. I really enjoy the Commonwealth Games. Um, I love the whole like village atmosphere that you have. Apart from the Olympics, it's probably one of the most exciting events that you can attend and be a part of. It's another shot, you know, to race against the world and race some great competition and, and have fun with it and enjoy it. it. It's another experience like Olympics where you're in a village and all that, so I'm really excited. I'm focusing more on my main events and giving them a really good shot and hopefully come out with some more gold medals. <laughs> well, I got five gold at the last, so we'll see if we can go for five this time. <laughs>